Okay, so this guy on Twitter made an invisibility cloak, and CG Matter made his own version. But the way he did it was sort of wrong because he used a holdout node, which means it deletes the background as well. As you make your scene, here are a few tips. First, you don't need all the detail in your class simulation. I ran the simulation at 5 subdivisions, which leaves the cloth quite chunky. But you can use subdivision surface after the class simulation and will look just as good at a fraction of the cost. I use the solidify modifier to hide clipping and also for refractions because zero thickness surfaces tend to interact weirdly with transmissive materials. Second, the default unit in Blender is a meter, which means the default cube is 2 meters tall. If you want it to look smaller, you may want to speed it up a bit. Of course, this will also increase clipping, so be sure to turn up quality steps. The way Gabe probably did this is, first start in cycles, because light paths only exist in cycles and we use those to create the effect. Get the scene in HDRI, create a material for the cloak that consists of two parts. The first part is the fancy rainbow visible part. Start with a principle of BSDF, low roughness and max transmission. To make the glass clear, make sure the color is pure white. If you see black artifacts, that means you have too few transmission rays. Add a Fresno node and connect it to the emission strength, and another Fresno node through hue saturation for the refractive colors. For sparkles, start with a Voronoi texture. Since the plane is 2D, use vector math to displace the Z coordinate instead of W to make a sparkle. To connect the sparkles with the material, subtract the Voronoi texture from 1 to invert it. Subtract the number for size, multiply for falloff with clamps to avoid weird spirals, Multiply with a Fresno node, and multiply with a large number until they are visible. Mix the sparkles in with a mixed RGB with a math result for a factor. Swap the textures until both are visible, and add them in the emission strength. The second shader is a refraction node with an IOR of 1. Once again, make sure the color is pure white. This is perfectly invisible, but still counts as a transmission ray, which is what we are using to make the monkey invisible. To blend between the two shaders, we are using another Fresno node. As we change the value of the node, we will bias the result one way or the other. Keyframe at 1 for one shader and 0 for the other. An optimization you can make is using a special node group. We only need one transmission effect so you can use transmission depth connected to a math node set to greater than. The threshold is the amount of layers before it becomes transparent. The other materials are transparent BSDF, which renders faster. For the invisibility, the easy solution is to go to the monkey's object properties and uncheck transmission rays. This means you can add any material you want and you don't need to worry about fitting in a node group but this is visibility only. The node setup is once again a light path node. This will return 1 if the material goes through transmission, which can go into alpha or something like a mixed shader. This lets you change the material when behind the cloth. CG Matter also mentions a render layer method, and yes, you can do this. The main benefit is the ability of something transmissive but not invisible, but it takes twice as long to render. If you don't know how render layers work, in render settings enable transparent film and transparent glass. Create two collections and two render layers. Move the invisibility objects into a collection different from the background. In the object view layer, set the background collection to indirect only, or exclude depending on lighting. In the background view layer, set the object collection to indirect only so it still casts shadows. Make sure the output has alpha, such as PNG, EXR, or TIFF, and in compositing, get two render layers and plug them into file outputs. Once rendered, in compositing, use the two image sequences and connect them with an alpha over. 